Time for another stock review, this time Asti, not Asti Spumanti, but we're celebrating perhaps with solar. Solar, can we make any money from solar? Will this make sense? Well, before you get your credit card out, Mr. Jordan Smith, and decide to buy yourself some shares, let's go through a review. This review is the most honest review you'll find on YouTube TV, as everything here is done without sponsorship, unbiased, real, um, using the most advanced algorithmic software. We are going to look at Asti right now. We're going to share with you the balance sheet, the solvency score, the profit of the company, the uh, inside trading, who's buying. We're also going to cover latest news. And we happen to have some nice news today around Asti, uh, which is Ascent Solar. We've also got um, the website to look at as well and, some, and an official statement from the company. Oh, Eric B. Eric donated $3. Martin Lucas and Sensei Crypto together today was awesome. 33.78000000 doge. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Uh, we did a, a poll earlier and 87% said they liked that this morning. We went live after Sensei provided some charts uh, recorded just before the show and on Sunday evening, ready for the Monday show, and then we put them into our live stream this morning. So it was a very busy morning, and I'm glad you all enjoyed that. It was, a, it was a very exciting. All right, let's go. Now, I love solar. Uh, let's be absolutely clear. We're talking about solar. I've experienced with this. I've invested with it. I've also got a lot of experience with it because I have solar on my house in the UK. And it's not about direct sunlight. People are saying today in the stream, it's all about the summer. It's not. Ambient, temp ambient light works all year round now with optimized, optimized solar panels. That is the key. And that's why the leader, which is uh, Enphase Energy, uh, it does so well. But we've seen solar sell off recently. And the reason for that is because high interest rates, people aren't buying expensive solar panels and, and solars are put on their roof. Makes perfect sense, right? Uh, all of that, like housing, is all down at the moment. It's all going to come back, though. It's the future, no doubt about it. We want... Um, independent power with, with what's going on in the war in, in in the world with war. So solar is without doubt the future. I love it. I use it. I have it. Uh, I invest in it. I believe in it totally. Um, so anyway, without further ado, let's get straight into this stock and uh, let's talk about it. Okay. So without, without further ado, let's have a look. Ascent Solar Technologies. Have you tapped the like button yet? Because you remember, if you tap the like button, you get extra information and the stock price goes up. And uh, I'll make a prediction in a minute. I think we'll rank number one for this stock on Google and YouTube, as we do for most of the stocks we cover. Let's uh, have a quick prediction. Are you ready? Here it comes. I make a prediction and I tell you, I look into my crystal ball and I reckon within a week, AST stock, we will rank number one for it on Google and YouTube. Let's see if I'm right. All right, let's see if I'm right. I was right once. <laughs> okay, let's go into it and, and, and see what we find. Asti, Solar Technologies. What is it? Well, right now, as you can see, it's 57 cents. It's a penny stock, no doubt about it. Uh, Ascent Technologies, uh, Solar Technologies engages in des des design, development, and manufacture of solar technology and power solutions for remote locations and extreme environments. So it's not the average, it's not the usual uh, solar company, this straight away for uh, extreme environments. Okay, could we be talking space? Well, we like space on the show, and we're going to get a little bit of a spacey theme in a minute. That's why the lights are blue on this one and a bit of stars behind me. Did you notice that? Did you see all the little stars and stuff? Did you see all that? Have you, have you paid attention? Okay, hopefully you have. All right. Okay, uh, it integrates photovoltaic, which is PV, modules into a variety of applications such as aerospace defense, transportation, and electronic products. The company was founded by Moen S. Misra and Joseph H. Armstrong in October 18, 2005. Been around for a little while. Uh, Thornton CO, California, um, uh, Colorado, I beg your pardon, not California. Uh, the listed uh, name is Asti. Uh, not Asti Spumanti. We're not celebrating just yet. Now, Paul Wally uh, is the CEO. We have a Meet the CEO series 
Uh, I never message anyone. I don't believe in selling myself. Don't believe in uh, any of that. I undersell and over deliver uh, all the time. I would like you to be on my show. And I know that my LucasAid army will, uh, will, will message you, what, whether they tag this video into social media or whether they email investor relations. One way or the other, you'll be invited to be on my show and you're always welcome. We love to, we love to learn about companies that change the world for the better and do great things. And we'd love to have you on the show where you could share information about your company with us. Uh, we're a very uh, passionate uh, bunch of people. We have the, one of the fastest growing channels on YouTube. We are doubling our rate of growth every month. And I predict in a few years, about four or five years, we'll be at 10 million subscribers, which will make us the biggest financial channel in the world. More than meet Kevin and Graham Stepan combined. Anyway, and the reason for that is we're live all the time and our rate of growth would suggest it. Headquartered in Colorado. Uh, thank you much indeed for that. Uh, to found it, I don't know why I just said that. I just read it. Why did I say thank you? No idea. Founded in 2005. Uh, now, rec uh, if, you, you, if you're buying this with the margin, it's regarded 100% maintenance, so it's regarded as high risk. Very small company at the moment. Very small. I could buy it myself. $2 million. Of the Shall I buy the whole company? I haven't got quite, I haven't got 2 million bucks. You know what I've got. You can see it on the show. Anyway, I'm on the way. Uh, <laughs> Market cap, 2 million, 52-week um, high, 113, 52-week low, 51 cents. Wow. Is this a, a potential opportunity? Well, let's have a look at the earnings. Is it moving up? Well, it's been losing money. This is an interesting one uh, with such a, uh, such a huge swing there in price. Uh, the company was losing money, losing money, losing even more money. But recently in Q3, uh, done much, much better, much better. And uh, could Q4 be cash positive? Wouldn't that be a catalyst for the stock? Wouldn't that be a story for a stock that was once $113 becoming cash positive because it's been losing money? And come the spring, the summer, solar is going to do well. And uh, if we rank for this, which we will, and a lot of excitement around solar... And a, and a space solar at that, this could be one of those stocks that could pop very, very easily if that, if that happens again, if that becomes positive. This is one of those stocks which could absolutely, so far, let me move on. Who else is in the stock? Oh, dear, oh, dear. The worst stock on the stock market. Mullen, built to be a scam stock. Don't like it. Nicola, Got a lot of potential, but uh, Nicola has uh, a, a, a bad past. But I like the earnings. I like what they said. I think this could be something great for the future. I said, I'm going to get behind Nicola now. A lot of people on uh, Stockwitz talk nonsense of this. They say, it doesn't matter what the numbers are, the balance sheets. I just They just believe in it. We don't do that on our channel. We're all about balance sheets, numbers. We're all about the facts. We're not about sensationalism, but the company could do well, not because of it's just cool and we like it, because actually the numbers are starting to add up. That's why I got behind it, not because of all the ranting and raving going on on stock twits. Anyway, uh, I don't know anything about that one. I don't know a great deal about Canva. Don't know much about that one. And Faraday looks like it's going bust. So it's in, it looked promising for a while. But anyway, uh, there you go. That's who it's in bed with. Now, we do have some news today. If you tap the like button so far, have you hit the subscribe and rung the bell? Have you done that? Well, we've got some news today. I'm going to give it you with the official way we're going to show you. And then I'm going to give it to you uh, in, the, in, in the way it was reported on the media. So get your head down, rub your chin, look through your glasses that are getting all steamed up and decide, can we make money on this company? Well, do you think so? Is it time to print some money? I've got my own Fed machine here. You didn't know that, did you? Well, you do now. You do now. They think it's all over. It is now. And leave me a comment below in the chat where I got that phrase from. Anyway, here we go. I will uh, reply back to you. Where did I get that phrase from? They think it's all over. It is now. Reply in the comments on this video. All right, there might be a prize. There might not be, but then, but there might be. A, there are sometimes. Uh, right now, then this is how it got reported officially. Then we'll look at the news. Um, 
Ascensor Technologies, uh, the leading US innovator in the design and manufacture of featherweight, flexible and durable. I apologize for looking this way. They're using very small text, so I have to use my mirror screens. Uh, announced today that the company's solar module products will fly on NASA's upcoming lightweight integrated solar array and antenna. Lisa T mission scheduled for the summer. See what I mean? Get a good earnings Good news, this came out today. This is a potential buy on that rumor. Well, on that news, we haven't yet got into the numbers, so don't get too excited, but this could certainly be um, be a, a buy, and I'll explain why later on in the video. And as you can see, as I'm talking about it, in the after hours, we're getting a little bit of a buy-in in the after hours. This is just brewing. This could be something good. So that's how they reported it. Let me share with you how the mainstream media, Yahoo, talked about it. Ascent <coughs> Solar Technologies to fly space solar modules on NASA's upcoming Lisa T <coughs> mission. Okay. Ascent Solar. Now, this I can zoom in a bit clearer. The leading US innovator in the design manufacture of featherweight, flexible, and durable. You can see where they got the news from, right? They just got it from their website, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm getting it from them. It's great, isn't it? We all feed each other. The durable CIGS uh, uh, thin film polyvoltaic uh, uh, PV solutions uh, announced today that the company's solar module uh, pr products will fly on NASA's upcoming lightweight integrated solar array and antenna Lisa T mission scheduled for launch this summer. The mission led by NASA's Space Technology Mission uh, Directorate and the direct and the agency's Marshall's Space Flight Center in Huntsville will demonstrate the capability to deploy large area arrays on lightweight, low cost and small spacecraft. Lisa T is the fourth mission in NASA's Pathfinder Technology Demonstrator PDD series of missions evaluating novel small spacecraft and capabilities on orbit, managed by NASA's uh, Amos uh, Research Center in Silicon Valley. These, demonstra these demonstration uh, missions facilitate that uh, the direct infusion of new technologies into the agency's future science and exploration missions, Lisa T solar arrays are lower mass and stowed volume and produce three times more power than alternative PV solutions traded within uh, the system's envelope. PDD-4's uh, deployable solar arrays are designed to scale larger than the mission's CubeSat form factor with options capable of generating kilowatts of power to small spacecraft. You can see why this news could do rather well for the company, as, as long as the company's got some good numbers. Let's find out. Tap the like button to find out. And... Um, and uh, click yourself, subscribe, and ring the bell. This could be very interesting. We like space on this channel. It, we rank for this sort of stuff. This is good news. It's just out. The, the, the earnings as uh, just uh, the last earnings as shot up. We are on the verge of be, be becoming uh, cash positive. We're at, we're at 55 cents. Got everything so far for a big move on in the summer with this. And it could happen before then, of course, because once this video comes out, people will be talking about it and getting a little bit excited. So you can see how this could do do well. Let's now go and look at the website and see how it speaks to its investors. All right. Ascent Solar. You can see what they're talking about here. Talking about a, a flexible, flexible uh, solar. Look at this. Ascent, uh, uh, Ascent Thin Film is the solar power solution for scenarios where traditional rigid panels won't work. Imagine wearing a... I want a solar suit. I want a suit made out AR. Right, Ascent Solar, you're listening to this now, right? Because hopefully we're going to have you on the show, right? I'm sure that, that my, uh, my audience will message you. Come on the show, make me a suit. Make me a suit out of solar. I'll sit here on my show being powered by solar. Sounds great, right? Do it. If it's flexible, why not make a suit out of it? And then uh, I'll put a little little laser beam on me, charge myself up during the show. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I'll do it. I'll be the first person to wear a solar suit. 
There you go. How about that? Space and defense, drones and UAV and agri-voltaics. Very interesting stuff. I like all of this. This is, this is some very cool technology. Headquartered uh, Center of Excellence. Uh, look at that. Uh, we've got we've got deals with NASA, JAXA, uh, DARPA, so D A R P A, Air Force Research Laboratory, National Renewable Energy Laboratory, U.S. Army. Uh, this is all. This is looking good. We've got lots of awards. Okay, uh, I'm not a fan of awards because I don't like when people get awards. It's like you know, you can pay people to get awards. Don't like awards. I'm not bothered about awards. Sounds good, but I don't like it. All right, I can give myself an award, dead easy. All right, just pay the right person. Okay, so let's go and look now at the numbers. All right, let's go and look at the numbers and see how, uh, to see how this stacks up. And is there a potential here to make some money? As investors, that's what we're all about, right? Making some money. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look now. Now then, we're looking at the intrinsic value first of all. Intrinsic value says undervalued by 74% on a base case. On a best case, undervalued by 76%. On a worst case, undervalued by 71%. Okay, looking good so far, but what is the intrinsic value? Pause the video, have a look at that, read it yourself, and then catch up with the video. Have you paused me? You have paused me, right? Okay, you paused me. Now come back to me. Have you unpaused me? Okay, now I'm on pause. Now then, we need to just point out there, before you get too carried away, the intrinsic value estimate is unreliable because it only uses multiples, not DCF. It's because of the value of the stock right now, we can't get all the information we need. It appears to be cheap, but is it cheap? We have persistent overvaluation. So it always appears to be cheap. Well, if we get uh, po we get a positive earnings and this news gets uh, this trends around on our, on our channel, which it could, then uh, then the valuation might get a little bit more exciting uh, quicker than uh, and expected. Anyway, let's run a back test through my software in real time. Let's see if we can uh, pull something up and have a look at the the valuation. Uh, profit, not applicable. No profit yet. And so correlation 10%. We cannot sh use this as a guide. It's not going to give us accurate information. However, now is the best time to buy it if we were buying it. That's what we're seeing here. Uh, looking at the financials, uh, the revenue is 240000 so as you can see, revenue is nothing at the moment. Nothing at all. Where's the money going to come from? We don't know. Negative 69% on the most recent range. Operating income uh, is down 4%. Negative 20.7 million. Uh, net income, 34 million. Now, what's interesting is the capital expenditure. We're going to come to that in a minute. Net income down 62%, free cash flow down 22%, 15.7 million. Now, there's the reason why. Capital expenditure. We are spending money now. We believe in the company. The company itself are spending 2,229% more than they've ever done or more than the recent range uh, on the company. Now, if they're spending on the company to uh, for research and development because they know something about the future, that's great. If they're giving themselves pay rises, not so great. Uh, capital expenditure, though, is investing on the business. So we are spending now on the business. We must believe there's something around the corner. Operating cash flow up 8%. Cop operating cash flow has improved up 8%. All right, let's have a look at the balance sheet. Now, as you can see, we've got more liabilities than, than assets. We're obviously borrowing money or spending money or whatever. We'll come on to it in a second. Uh, now we feel it's the time to go forward with this NASA mission. We talked about it in, earlier in the video. 11 million is our assets. Do we have any cash? Yes, nearly a million dollars in cash. Not a huge amount, about 10% uh, thereabouts. Let's have a look. Um, let's have a look at our cash position. It's actually 7.69 to be exact. 7.69 is our cash. What about liabilities? Well, we've got more liabilities in cash. And that's not good. How much of it is long-term debt? We've obviously started to borrow money, spend money, because we believe that this mission to, on NASA is going to be good. Let's have a look. Liabilities. Well, Short-term debt, no long-term debt. 
no long-term debt, and hardly any short-term debt. This is all payable, accounts payable on what we've already got, the money we've already had, the money we've already had on the balance sheet. We spent it investing in the business, capital expenditure, building out the business. This looks good. They've not had to borrow money. It's money they already had and they've spent it on the business to get the job done. Interesting. Looks good. No long-term debt, no short-term debt uh, of anything to really... Look, 5% 5, 5 short-term debt, hardly anything. Basically, what we've done, we've used the cash we had and we've spent it. As you can see, gross margins have, have gone down because we're spending money on this upcoming mission. It's obvious. Operating margin has fallen off. Net margin has fallen off. So, you know, we're spending money. All our numbers are down. This is what it's all about. Are we going to make a big return now on this mission? Right, well, 31% profitability score. It's pretty good. Uh, the only thing negative is a one-year revenue growth. Well, for the next year, are we going to make any money? Well, in the summer, we might we might find out. Uh, solvency score, 29%. 29%. Uh, that's quite low. That's in that's red. Uh, solvency score, that means low DE is good. Negative net debt is great. Negative net debt, great. Nice big green tick. Long-term solvency, short-term solvency is 29%. So there's some risk here. There's some risk. Obviously, it's a risk going into space. It's always risky anyway. But uh, we're spending money uh, on the belief of that. So we've got some uh, solvency issues, but not in the short term, really. Um, and, we, and obviously, the long term will be what we get from this mission, I'd imagine. But look at that. 394% upside from Wall Street. There's no worst. There's no best. There's just average. 394%. If this all comes off and everything goes right in the summer and we beat on earnings, we've been trending in the right direction, this could be a 394%, a 4x this is very, very interesting. If you like space, if you like solar, I love both. Put them together on our show. This is a positive review I'm giving it. And I'm not doing that because, you know, I'm biased. I'm not in the stock. I will not own the stock. I will not buy the stock. I, I don't buy any stock. I only own the S&P. So you know that my reviews are real and true. I hope my viewers make money, though. I hope my members make money. That's what my show's about, the members. Not about me, it's about my members. So, competitive landscape, you need to go and c compare. Links above my head down in below in the description for my software. Go and have a look. Ownership. Oh, hello. Hello. Good news. Good news. I'm going to uh, drop in an overlay. Uh, we've got some good news. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I'm going to put a little, uh, little, little green, uh, green thumb on that. We've got insiders buying, insiders buying, and they bought uh, a reasonable amount as well. Let's have a look. Uh, I bought in the last six, uh, in the last twelve months, um, I bought more shares, and they have uh, and then they have sold in the past twelve months. So, uh, over the last twelve months, insiders have bought three hundred ninety-one thousand dollars of shares. That's a lot for this size of company, and sold zero, and sold zero. Now we want to be buying before insiders are buying, but the stock is down at fifty-six cents, and insiders have been buying. Nice big green thumbs up for that. I like it. Okay. What about short interest? No real short interest. So no short squeeze, but no real negativity. It's just no one's buying because it's not in the news until today. Until today. With my review, this will rank, this will probably rank tomorrow. Forget a week. This will rank tomorrow because that news has just come out about the NASA deal. The deal has just come out, just been announced, and we will uh, we will rank for this, I would say, by tomorrow. Why do I think that? Because there's nobody covering it. There's no reviews. There's no news. There's no sentiment. There's nothing at all. It's just undiscovered, untalked about, unreviewed. So... 
I'm going to wrap up my review. I'm going to wrap up my review and uh, make my final judgment on this stock. So let's do it now. Let's do my final review. Have you tapped the like button yet? Have you subscribed yet? Well, let's talk about it. Ascent Solar Technologies. I like solar. Solar is a winner for me, definitely. Now we're talking solar in space. Very interesting. I like it. We need power. We need flexible power. This is this is what they're doing. Something different. Um, maybe the spacemen are going to be solar powered, <laughs> flown around. I like all of that, right? Now then, is it something we can make money on? Well, people people will buy solar and they will buy space on any good news. This is a good review, an optimistic review, a, a potential review. We've seen a lot of spending from the company, not with debt though. Money they already had, they've spent on this mission with NASA. NASA has just brought out this news today. This is, or, or at least the company have released it today that they're about their good news. Um, insiders are buying. Insiders have, have sold no shares at all. The stock price is at an all-time, pretty much an all-time low. If we just look on the chart, we'll just have a quick look at that. Let's have a do an all-time maximum. Yes, we're at pretty much an all-time low. As you can see, we're, we're down on its asses. We've got no real money right now. The company has spent money. They've spent the money uh, to get ready for the mission. The good news now has been reported. Uh, insiders are buying. We're not uh, going to get a short squeeze. So, but there's no real news around the stock. I think it's undiscovered. I think undiscovered. Once upon a time, that stock was $100,000, Sensei just reported during the making of this video. So I'm going to leave you on this. I do not buy any stocks. I only own the S&P, so my reviews are completely neutral and balanced and transparent and honest, and no one sponsors me to say anything. I would invite all of you to go out now and share this video with the world uh, when the video comes out. You're watching it now on the video. It's already out, but I'm making it in a live video. Invite the CEO, uh, invite the company, get this to trend on Reddit and social circles. I think because it's solar, solar will do well in the next uh, earnings, sorry, in the, in, in, uh, in, in the summer, as we get a lot of interest around, um, uh, around uh, end phase energy. It will do well, no question about it. People bought a little bit ahead of the earnings, got excited on the last earnings, uh, uh, end phase popped up and then it started to sell off because they were jumping the gun. And as I said, it's two earnings away. The summer is when, we, when we'll make money on solar. Not because it's the summer, because that's when we're expecting to see interest rates come down. That will draw attention to this stock. This stock will trend within 24 hours, I would expect, on my channel because it's solar and it's space. A lot of good news now with, um, with, uh, with um, the NASA story. Does it have a great balance sheet? Well, of course it doesn't have a great balance sheet, but it's spent money on what it's about to achieve. Will it need to raise money? Quite possibly. It's got no money right now. It's spent it to do everything. It's put all, all its eggs in one basket. So can it do well? Well, potentially, potentially, yes. Insiders are buying. The news is great. It's solar. It's space. It's got all the things it needs to trend. It will trend on our video because our video, uh, our review is optimistic. So yes, it's a potential buy. I don't buy any stocks. So that's, you know, my situation there. But it's a potential buy on the news. On the, So if you like a very high risky stock that's in solar and space, this, is, this has to be the one. Knowing that the news is great, knowing that the summer solar will go up. It's got everything you need, potentially, to be a 4X. At least that's what Wall Street believe as well. So there you go. They're right with me. Click above my head for all the reviews and information you need and all the links down below in the description and over here. More reviews and, and information and uh, we'll have a full playlist for Asti. Asti Spumanti, are we celebrating with some fizzy champagne? Well... Uh, maybe I can just uh, celebrate a little bit. Shall we Shall we celebrate a little bit? Shall we pop? There we go. We'll pop a little bit. There you go. I just realized I had that in, in, my, in, my, in my bank there to share with everybody. So what do you think? Above my head, down here, over here, over here. Are we celebrating with Asti? Let's see. Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.